Ever since um, uh, people started to lose their jobs um, in the economic downturn uh, and the level of unemployment started to rise dramatically, the Labour Party has been arguing that the government needs to provide additional places in higher and further education uh, in order to meet the needs uh, of those who are losing their jobs. We had a private member's motion on it in May 2008, another one in October 2008, another one in March 2009, again in June 2009. We published a document on it in April 2009. It was a major element in our pre-budget submission. An argument, the argument being that people who are losing their jobs ought to have uh, provision provided for them that they can take up educational uh, opportunities rather than uh, simply be on the door as they wished to be themselves. Now it is clear from the figures that are published by this uh, CAO yesterday, the numbers of people who are applying for admission to third level colleges. We now have a situation <coughs> where there are two applicants uh, for every place. I know the government has made a number of announcements uh, over the course of the past year, but to be honest the numbers involved are very small. Very simply, you haven't provided sufficient places in higher and further education to meet the need and the demand that is there at the moment. And if you don't do so between now and next September, we will have a situation where people who have lost their jobs, who wish to go back to education and training, will be denied their place and will have to stay on the dole. Or you will have a situation that young people who are today uh, preparing for their leaving certificate examination will be denied the place in third level or further education that they had hoped to get uh, because the points uh, for entry uh, will have uh, increased. So, Tishuk, I suppose the good news from yesterday's CAO figures is that there are so many people who want to get into higher education. The bad news is that the places are not there for them. And what I want to ask you today is, will the government make additional places available in higher and further education so that all of those people who are applying for places will be accommodated uh, next, next September, that young people uh, will not have, uh, uh, sitting the Leaving Cert examination, will not have uh, the points for the course that they had hoped to get into uh, driven up as a result of the uh, increased demand and that they will get the place that they had uh, hoped for and that uh, there will be places there for people who have lost their jobs who want to improve their own life chances and their own skills and to be in a better position to benefit from recovery whenever it comes. Well, Kankora, that's not really telling us anything at all. Um, the position is, Taoiseach, that as a result of the downturn in construction, the opportunities in apprenticeships has greatly diminished. And that's one of the reasons why uh, there's an increase in the number uh, applying through the, the CAO system. Secondly, as a result of the fact that people have lost uh, their jobs, there's an increase uh, in the number of uh, what are called adult students or mature students applying to get into uh, higher education colleges, quite understandably, and I think it's a very good thing uh, to improve their, their educational opportunities. Um, now, the reality, Taoiseach, is that if you have more applicants, the points are going to go up for those uh, who are sitting there leaving next June. Um, you have uh, people who are, you know, they're now into the second half of their second year uh, preparing for their, uh, for their leaving cert. Um, they had a reasonable expectation that course that they might want to get into might be 400 points, say. Uh, if there are more applicants, that course might be 450 points when it comes out of the CAO next year, as a result of which uh, there are many young people who will be denied the opportunity of getting the place that they wanted to get. And secondly, people who have lost their jobs will also be denied an opportunity of, of going. You'd have some of the people who are trying to get into uh, a course uh, and instead of getting into the course, they'll have to go back on, on the dole. Now, the solution to that, Taoiseach, and it is possible to do this between now and next September, is to make the arrangements with the higher education institutions, with the colleges of further education, with the higher education authority, to provide additional places. This is about places. This is about numbers. We have buildings that are empty in this country. They'll be going into NAMA, um, and they could be put to use. And they could be put to use. We have people who are available 
to provide the tutoring and the education. This is an investment issue. It's an investment in recovery. And in order, I'm putting it to you, that in order to avoid this glut that we're going to have in September with people not being able to get places, the solution is to provide the places. It's, a case, it's, a, it's, it's planning, it's doing the right thing. It's not, it's not a case of let, us, uh, let it all roll on until next September and see how many fall out or who don't meet the grade or who don't pass the exams or whatever. We now know that there are more, far more applicants than there are places. And I'm simply saying to you that there is an opportunity between now and next September to increase the number of places and to ensure that those people who want to benefit from an education will uh, do so. And in turn, that that is good use of public money that that is an investment in our future and that that will help our prospects as a country to get economic and social recovery.